Good morning. Welcome back to the Yoga Reports. My name is Lila Maya and uh, this morning on Wednesday, July the 6th, I'm at Aguas Blancas in the north of Ibiza. Beautiful spot for morning rising of the sun. So today the moon is waxing already in isn't Leo and uh, the word of the day is feet and the affirmation is creative, impulsive, be active and decisive. So that's a lot of a lot of do's. Creative, impulsive, be active and decisive. The word of the day is leopard. So it's a favor favorable day for intense physical activity. So we meant to have a lot of energy today. So get out and do things, be active, young practice, be dynamic and decisive in your choices today. Be aware of aggression and manifestations in that realm. Um, it's a good day for also for starting martial arts or for continuing any martial art. Continue with self-massage and um, the time of the waxing of the moon is a good time for regeneration in any respect. A good time for cleansing of the skin and um, self-massage um, and anything like uh, anything like that. <laughs> Great time to strengthen self-healing. So if you are a healer or a therapist, it's a good time to work on strengthening those powers and in, in fact doing some, something for yourself. Recommended to do a bath. Um, so a steam bath, hammam, or, um, or actually just soaking yourself in a bath with um, local herbs or aromatherapy of your choice. Stimulating, actually. And it soothes the, the muscles if you are going to be doing something active, active today. Take care of your skin. Food-wise, choose plant-based proteins. Eat fruits and fruit plant um, uh, foods such as beans, peas, potatoes, pumpkins, olives, peppers, figs, berries, corn, etc. Avoid hair removal today. Avoid sunbathing, tattooing, and pruning or harvesting of fruit trees. For yoga, eye exercises. So, actually, looking at different Times of the clock is a really good idea in both directions, clockwise, anti-clockwise, and in different kind of sporadic numbers. It's very good for the eyes. So start that your yoga practice with some eye exercises. And strengthen the back today. So any locus positions and any modification is good. Prone on your belly. Massage the back today. So go to have a massage or have somebody massage your back. And um, so yang practice something active. Pranayama Uja square, inhale four, exhale four, hold four. Inhale four, hold four, exhale four, hold four. And that's for today, Wednesday, July 6th. For Thursday, July 7th, the moon is still in Leo, waxing first quarter. It's a day of choice between good and evil, in actions and in thoughts. I would say in thoughts, even more important. It's a day of creative impulse and be active and decisive, just like Wednesday. Solitude is advisable on Thursday. And uh, communicating with the elements. So get out to nature, preferably. That would be a nice way to connect with the elements. Avoid group activities on Thursday. Be aware of temptations and provocations. Do not make any hasty decisions, enjoy gardening, housekeeping, walking in nature, relax. Take care of your heart on Thursday and your eyes. It's a good day for festive activities. For uh, like-minded or some people close to you because really the day is best to spend, to be spent in solitude or in like-minded groups. Follow the previous day, uh, previous tips for gardening, for cleansing, medicinal plants, collecting, etc. And think regeneration. No tattooing, no sunbathing, no fatty foods. In fact, the period of the moon waxing is best to avoid fatty foods or eating a lot. 
for yoga on Thursday, eye exercises and asanas for the heart, such as Parangustasana, big toe, standing big toe pose, Janushishasana, head to knee pose, Supta Parangustasana, returning big toe pose, Setu Bandasana bridge, as well as Sharvangasana, uh, or Setu Banda Sarvangasana, Pranayama Bastrika, Narishodana and Kapalabhati. If you're not sure about this, please look them up. Mantra, Ong So Hang, stimulates and opens the heart. That's for Thursday. On Friday, July the 8th, the moon is on Virgo, waxing first quarter. Affirmation, keep your inner road, accomplish alchemy of soul and meal. I love that. Accomplish alchemy of soul and meal. Maybe take your time to think about that. It's a good day for business and intellectual activity. Starting matters of importance. That's Friday. All is success when our aim comes from the heart and benefits of all. The word of the day is unicorn. One of my favorite, I guess, uh, 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 creative and... Um, imaginary things, unicorns. Stick to your principles on Friday. Um, information and food well digested today. Do not overeat. Take care of your hands on Friday. Continue with regeneration procedures, healing, energizing baths, anything like that. No sunbathing, no harvesting veggies and or pruning trees for yoga on Friday. Stretch well your wrists in any direction. I call these flamenco hands. This is very nice to do before the yoga practice. And anytime your hands are in contact with the earth, really establish a good contact, especially spreading your fingers wide and focusing on what I call the eye of your hand, which is connected directly to our hearts. And um, I also like to think about the hands coming into what I call spider finger or tent when you can contact with the earth. This stimulates and strengthens the ligaments and tendons of our wrists and our fingers. For breathing, three part your breath, excellent for um, laying down. In fact, it's the only pranayama we can do on our backs. Supine. And the mantra Shiva Yam uh, Shiva Namaho. Shivaya Namaho. Excuse me. For Saturday, July the 9th, Moon is on Virgo waxing first quarter. Affirmation breathing of sound. Breathing and sound could heal any illness. Is this so true? In the Ayurveda principles, sound is healing. We are sound. The seed of all mantras being om is extremely healing. So maybe look into that. So it's today focus on breath and sound. It's a day of retirement and humbleness. A day of intuition. Burn aromatherapy oils at home, in your office, in your car. Um, listen to mantras, sing mantras, chant, go to a kirtan, satsang. So this is a group activity. Continue with steam baths, healing your own powers, or working on and strengthening your own powers. Nourishing care treatments continuing. For food, root veggies, and be aware of salt, especially if you have, if you have high blood pressure. And do not overeat in the garden, same as the last two days. Um, and for yoga, so... I recommend having a sound bath or a gong bath. If you've never had this before, this is the day to do it. So look into that, a gong bath. It's amazing. Um, and, or listen to sounds of bells, bowls, flute, live music in yoga. Look for, for one. If you don't have time to go to a class, maybe look up on YouTube a class with live music. Aromatherapy etc. For pranayama, um, to, uh, go back to square ujjayi and 